Supriya, the opposition will have to give the people of this country some reason to believe. What is it that they are voting for? Who is it that they are voting for? What will these people do if they come to power? You are up against the most formidable election machine modern day India has seen. Uh, and at this moment, it's like a ragtag coalition, like a Lagan 11, which requires some kind of a, frankly, an electoral miracle of sorts to be able to win against the mighty BJP. That's just the fact the way it is. So let me take your film analogy. Who ended up winning that match? I hope you remember Lagan 11. It's a fluke, you Anyways, know. I mean, surely you're not expecting by your, or banking uh, on a Lagan like 11 situation to win. I mean, no, that can't be your me, best hope. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Rahul, let me finish. You brought up an analogy. It was important for sure. me to remind you the winner of that contest because you were making that analogy to deride the opposition. It was important to remind you that the analogy that you were bringing to the table had a different victor than you were making it out to be. So it's important to just remind the viewers of the movies that we've all seen and watched of growing. But anyways, do you want to really want me to answer what is the what are the people of this country going to vote for? The people of this country are going to vote against a government, against a prime minister, against a home minister, against the Gujarat government that released the absolutely dreaded criminals in the Bilkis Bano case who are now going to be sent back to prison. And yes, Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah were party to their release. Everybody knows that because this was a CBI uh, court that had ordered this. They needed permission from the Delhi government. The Delhi government gave its permission. That is what people will vote for. People will vote for the fact whether it's the most celebrated athletes from Haryana or the 500 girls who have written five letters and are sitting on protest in Haryana against Mr. Khattar against sexual abuse in the Devi Lal University, not getting any uh, respite at all from the government. That's what they're going to vote for. They are going to vote for the fact that Mr. Modi can keep talking to, about the moon, he can keep talking about the stars, but the reality is that 11,000 MSMEs shut down in this country every No, but you year. had a much better chance the in the assembly elections where you had a similar and agenda and you saw finish. what happened there. Why do you think, if you're throwing the same kind of fuel no, no, into no, the no. engine, why do you think the engine will function yeah, differently yeah. in the Lok Sabha elections? I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Because state and Lok Sabha are two very different elections. 2003 December, we lost Madhya Pradesh, we lost Chhattisgarh, we lost Rajasthan. The only state we won was Delhi. We came back despite the huge India shining campaign and that is what is going to happen. And I want to just put one thing on the table. Yes, people of this country don't like the politics of the 90s and the 2000s. The people of this country don't like the politics where you call somebody corrupt and accuse him of a 70,000 crore ghotala and then go and form the government with him. I'm talking about Ajit Pawar. The people of this country don't like the fact that a Hemanto Biswasarma or a Narayan Rani or a Subendu Adhikari are all well, very taken care of when they join the BJP. So to talk about your shifting dunes as far as your own ideology and ideas are concerned, it comes very rich from the BJP. And I want to make one last point, and I think that last point is important. You can dismiss what I say as rhetoric and take on and hang on to every word that comes from the BJP's mouthpiece. But the reality is that elections in this country are fought on ideology. And as far as the India Alliance is concerned, we may have our differences like we rightly should in a democracy. But all of us agree that laws in this country cannot be made when you expel 150 MPs from parliament. All of us agree no, that so joblessness basically... is the biggest okay. crisis of our so, times. All of us agree that prices need to be reined in. So let Supriya, let Supriya you've but spoken, let Shahzad respond. Institutional like. misuse, right. overreach, mm -hmm. that you're suffocating people, right. giving them a sense we're living in an autocracy and the time comes, suppression I think the people will vote against you. Okay. There couldn't have been a worse day to say this when Karthi Chidambaram has been issued a show cause for saying Rahul is less popular than PM Modi. By the way, they say we have to save democracy. They say Mamta is killing democracy in Bengal. They say Kerala mein Pinarai Vijayan is killing democracy. Sudhakaran and VKC Vinugopal have called him a psychopath. Quote unquote, I'm not making this up. And they say that Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and Bhagwant Mana are killing democracy in Punjab when Kera is arrested. Today they are going to save democracy with those they accuse of killing democracy. I actually take objection to your analogy. You should have used Thugs of Hindustan, another Amir film which bombed on the okay, box just office. So that the but like Lagan me, analogy doesn't backfire. Yeah. It's because it's a ragtag team. I mean, they won, but that's a fluke. You I mean, could have said Bhanumati ka kunba, but I will say Thugs of Hindustan. So it fits in both cases. The film also bombed, and it was actually a ragtag alliance of corrupt people which they 
they are. Now let me tell you, the, she talks about corruption. Lalu is convicted first time in 2013 and Paul Moody is also convicted. Is please, can you please not have her interrupt Rahul? I have not interrupted. I heard her out. She ranted for five minutes. Now let me have my say. That's only fair in a democracy. And there's already three I'm people from their side. As well. Supriya, okay, you know, let him, let him speak. Go on. Supriya, you know, you should be the last person issuing certificates. You know, Rajdeep, she left journalism and next day became a pravakta. She should be the last person lecturing about democracy and media and other things. So Rahul, even when she gives very generous advice to you about media, she should I remember her past. Anyway, now let me come. Now Rajdeep, she's interrupting me. She's interrupting me. Can you control her from interrupting me? Thank you. I have not made it personal. She is constantly interrupting. Rahul, you are seeing what's happening. She's not allowing me to speak. No. Supriya, she is not allowing speak. me to Supriya, speak. Let him speak. I'll come back to you for a counter. Go on. By the stop way, when Supriya Shile is... to stop being a crybaby. Now next comes the victim card. Next will Can come a victim card. Can you please control her so and lean her in? Or else We've I just got the year started. Supriya Shile, I know that they, we are heading into election mode, but let him speak. I'll come back to you. Fader goes down just for the moment. Let him speak. We'll come back. Supriya, we'll come when back to you. Supriya Shile comes on 8 p.m. shows and lectures you about women, ask her when was the last time she tweeted about Nitish Kumar and his objectionable statements in assembly. Tell her when was the last time Supriya Shile and her loud mouth spoke a word about Vera Muthu, who has been accused of 17 people, 17 women, including Chinmaya Shripada, of sexually assaulting them and not an FIR has been filed. Ask Supriya Shile where she was when Shanti Dariwar was given a ticket. Ask her where she was when Mevaram Jain was given a ticket and was only suspended and then Belgavi happened and the high court said that it was worse than what happened to Draupadi. Please ask Supriya Shinit where Lan she was. Now Supriya, pipe down. Have a little bit of courtesy for your co-panelists to complete what they have to say. Thank you very much. Now let me come to the accusation of, you know, the state power, etc. The state power no, issue, Rahul, as I have addressed. Be an adult for Rahul, a as I have addressed. For your action and your Rahul, words. as I have addressed. May I complete? Go on. Thank you. Rahul, as I have addressed, let's assume we are the most dictatorial people. Why aren't courts giving relief to Sanjay Singh and Manish Sodia? And is it not true that the Aam Admi Party's corruption has been spoken of in great depth by the same lady, by a press conference? Forget everything else. I'll give you the hypocrisy of this. No, but in the Bilkis Bano case, the Supreme Court came down hard on the attitude and the behavior of the Gujarat government. Absolutely. And did anybody come out and justify it? No, but how, after exactly. the Supreme Court has said what they have, how My can you justify so, Nobody can justify But then, in the same line, they when were, can... They were please, stop, please stop ranting. Stop ranting. I'm talking to Rahul. Two adults they are speaking. Stop ranting. Order. Stop ranting. When the Belgavi you took, are not adult. took place... You are a crybaby. Everybody knows that. Supriya Srinath, you know, you are well, nearing so the age of 60, I think. You should show. behave your Go age. Ahead. You are a terrible anchor and you are even worse as a co-panelist. So please... Wait your turn. That is courtesy and manners. Time to come on my Thank course. you. What happened to that? Okay, once again, this Can is I getting mean, personal for no reason. No, but uh, Rahul, no, I was speaking. But 20 seconds ago, you've yeah. been speaking for too long. Now she must be allowed to respond. She's been interrupted. I she interrupted me 50 you times. You've also seen it. Okay, okay you've succeed. spoken enough now. No, 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 let me give me just 10 seconds. 10 yes. seconds. Okay. You know how many times we did shows, including with you, where she said Adani is a corrupt man, 20,000 crores? Adani is investing in Tamil Nadu, 47,000 crores. He went and met Revan Threddy and they are investing there. He went and met Nitish Kumar, they are investing there. Sharad Pawar met him and inaugurated the office. Is Adani corrupt? If he is, then why is he meeting Revan Threddy? You said you had proof, not 20,000 crores. Okay. Shell now, let you, now, 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 once again, Shahzad, you've spoken. Now, let Supriya respond. Supriya. No, I have a very simple point to make. I mean, look at the audacity of the BJP. The culprits of Bilkis Bano were released on your order. The last thing you should come and tell me is whether I spoke on something or not. Where is Did you speak on Nitish? And where is the women? Did you speak on Nitish? Let us speak. Did you speak on Shanti Dariwar? Now let us speak. I'm just giving her a taste of a medicine. 500 women. 500 women in Haryana. You know, You're you right. can make goons sit in your studio. Vera Muthu. No, okay. No, Shahzad. No, one second. Shahzad, let us speak. You wanted curtsy from my extend the same curtsy. Did she extend it to me? Supriya. Vera Muthu. Speak on that. Uh, let the crybaby talk then. Supriya, you know, name calling let is the, the last resort then, of an utter fool who has nothing to back up his or her arguments. Name calling is the lowest form of debate. And I know that you will indulge in it because that's all you're capable of. Keep name calling. Okay, let Supriya speak, please, Shazad. Oh, Vera okay. Muthu. Ah, no, no, one second. Is this is not right, Shazad. You wanted, Can I you wanted her point? to be silent. She started no, it. No, Shazad, this is not right. Let us Only speak Only for now. your sake, I'll keep okay. quiet. Okay, go on, go on, Supriya. 
Bilkis Bano, the BJP's absolutely mum, despite the fact that the culprits were released on the orders of the central government with their consent. Why are you silent on 500 of those Haryana women? Why are you silent on the athletes? Why, are you, why did you give a ticket to Ram Dular Gaon? Actually convicted for raping a minor, your MLA from Sonbhadra in UP? Why are you silent on all of that? Why the selective amnesia when it comes to your people? You will be silent on Hathras, you will be silent on Nakimpur, you will be silent on Shah Jahapur, you will be silent on Sengar, you will be silent on Ramdular Gond, you will be silent on Brich Bhushan Singh, you will be silent on Bilkis Bano. Why? And what about those girls in Haryana? Why are you silent? Why is Mr. Khattar silent? Why is Smriti Irani silent? Why is the Women Commission not taking cognizance? There, it's 253rd day today. Manipur is still burning, people are still fleeing their villages. The Prime Minister doesn't bother to take cognizance or go there. Why may I ask? Is Manipur not a part of the country? Go do a photo show there. But please go to Manipur. Because as the Prime Minister, an elected Prime Minister of this country, it's your duty, it's your moral compass, your moral responsibility to stand with our people. And Manipur is looking in your direction. Double engine ki sarkar. Kya sarkar chala rahe? Do sab tirpan din ho gaye. Aap Manipur nahi gaye. That's the reality okay. of this government. So and one why second, Lakshmadi, that why not Manipur? That's that the is. question the opposition you asks. Are, one second. Rahul, Rahul, now you ask me to Supriya. Supriya. Now let him speak. Supriya, she will extend Supriya, the same Supriya, had an opportunity now. to make your no, argument. Let me make a five second This is not, this okay, is not talk. No, will she then keep quiet? No, I'll try. No, no, let her, then you ensure that. No, one second. Rahul, I'm sorry, this doesn't work. You know, if she has somebody is on so the board and somebody is sitting in the... Who's a crybaby now? Let me just make a five seconds. Five so. seconds, okay, go ahead. When you are a partner with the PDP government, when you are a partner with PDP, PDP is a political party. When you cease to be a partner with the PDP, it becomes a part of some gang. That's the reality of the BJP. Mr. Rajiv Pawar is a goon, corrupt, till he is not a part of your government. Now they have put a gun from Ganga. Okay, same for now let Shahzad respond. Ghansham, I'm sorry, this is India Alliance speaking for, I hope That's we hopefully for each other, but let Shahzad counter. Go on, Shahzad. Rahul, since you told me to keep quiet, I heard her absolutely patiently and I hope the same courtesy will be extended when I answer on Manipur. And I hope she won't keep interrupting. Rahul, as far as Manipur is concerned, have they brought a no-confidence motion against the government of Manipur headed by N. Biren Singh till now? They brought one against the central government. In the What's central government. Now again she has interrupted. Argument? Rahul, again she has interrupted. Now stop her. Is that an now argument? she should be stopped. You are stopping me. You should stop her also. Okay, Rahul, so stop her. If you keep interrupting, I'll have to put that fader down, which is not fair because you're away from the studio. But please do not interrupt. Allow him to make his argument. I will come back to you for a counter. Rahul, if these people had a goddamn inkling about your fader down then, doing anything... While he was talking. This is, uh, Rahul, this is absolutely unfair now. You tell me when I should start, I'll start only then. Supriya, let him speak. Go on. Supriya, don't interrupt again because the next time she interrupts, put that fader down. Go on, Shahzad. Rahul, they talk about Manipur. They wanted a discussion on 267 which they wanted the Prime Minister to open which was not possible in that particular provision. They said we will not allow Parliament to function and the Delhi Services Bill comes about. They sit for the Delhi Services Bill discussion and then when they bring a no-confidence motion against the central government but not have brought any no-confidence motion against the N. B. Singh government till date. Why? Secondly, as far as Manipur is concerned, the same rhetoric they used in the Northeast elections. There was an election in Mizoram also, by the way, in these five state elections. In Mizoram, the Congress party is down from five seats to one seat, and the BJP has doubled the number of seats it has won. In fact, we won in the most dominated Christian community seat. By the way, Supriya Shinit, since you talk about the Northeast, please let me know that between 2014 to 2022, we have signed the Alpha Peace Accord, Naga Accord, Bodo Accord, Tripura Accord, Ruriang Accord, Karbianglong Accord, and the Assam Meghalaya uh, Dispute Accord. What have you done before? 2014, you said bye-bye to Assam in 1962. You bombed Mizoram on 5th March 1966. And by the way, please tell me, Supriya Shinet, if you were so concerned about Northeast and the people of Northeast could see that, you would not be out of power of Nangaland for last 50 years. You have not been in power in Meghalaya. You have not been in power in Tripura. You have not been in power in uh, Mizoram. You have not been in power in Assam for a long period of time. This is because people can see through what you have offered. We have given development to the Northeast, including 1 lakh crore projects, including doubling the number of airports, including making it a mainstream and important people from there as ministers. By the way, you are concerned about Northeast. Why isn't your Nyayatra starting from Arunachal Pradesh? Because East to West. East point is Arunachal Pradesh. You are not going there because you have an MOU with the Chinese. Now let's get out of that. Now my main important point is only this. Rahul, the point that I'm trying to make today is I'd that like she said this is about Vichardhara and Alliance. The Aam Admi Party said Rajiv Gandhi's Bharat Ratna should be taken back because he is involved in the 1984 riots. Now I want to ask Supriya Shinet that does Aam Admi Party still believe this? Okay. Have you changed now your let position? Supriya, you now let Supriya, that you are involved respond. In 1984 Supriya 
this has to be the final intervention between the both of you because I have two other guests to go to Supriya. The fact that there should have been a non-confidence motion against the Manipur government is the most blasphemous argument one can make and one can hear. The no-confidence motion was brought in because the Prime Minister refused to come to the House and we wanted a statement from him. The reality is that in Mizoram, your vote share has dipped from 8.9% So you don't want Biren Singh This election. Mm, let us, but you wanted Biren Singh Shazad, let us speak. Shazad, let us speak. there have been bullets fired. The reality is there are bullets that have been fired between Mizoram and Assam. That's the reality of your law and order. The reality is nobody knows what the Nagaland Accord is. The reality is that Manipur has been burning for 253 days. If this is your idea of a successful governance model or a successful Middle Northeast report card, then God, God save this country. And just for your kind information, instead of coming and blabbering a rhetoric here, maybe you would like to go and see what the root of the Yatra is. There is a reason why we are starting from Manipur, because it is important we tell our brothers and sisters there that we we are giving them the importance by starting the yatra from there, but we are going all the way to Arunachal Pradesh. Go and see the route map no, and then come and peddle your lies here. The reality is that you thought that Mr. Modi was a cheap copy of Hitler. You said you will die but never campaign for cheap copy of Hitler. The reality is you're sitting here and making all kinds of blasphemous content. Don't make me embarrass you by actually throwing back nonsensical I'm stuff that you said against my opponents way. while you were on the other side. Yes, save yourself the trouble, save yourself the graceless owner that I don't want to best to Okay. You. So don't come and peddle lies here. You Am have Amitabh ruined Tiwari. the northeast of this country. Amitabh Tiwari, before I wrap up this discussion, political fireworks yes, aside. Quote unquote, Supriya Shinet, with whom she is forming an alliance today, and she has accepted that Rajiv Gandhi was a murderer of Sikhs. Before, therefore, she is accepting Amadi Party support. Amitabh Tiwari, political rhetoric aside. This man has to be made to shut up. Supriya Shinet, mind your language.